Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the bonus four-wheel drive structure that comes with the physics toolbox and attach a mesh to it so you can use it in your scene. Here you can see the four-wheel drive itself. Once I import it, I can use the control panels to control it and move it around the screen. The first thing I'm going to want to do is bring in my mesh of the Jeep. So I'll just click and drag in that multi-part prop. You can see here that each of the sub-props have been separated so I can attach and move them all separately. I want to select them all and detach them so that I can move them around individually to where my dummy is and attach them one at a time. I'll start with my left front wheel here and just drag it over. You'll see that the size and scale are a bit different than the dummy, so let's fix that. You can also scale the entire dummy down if you want instead of this way, in which case you won't need to stretch or distort your original mesh. The way you do it is totally up to you. For this example, I'm just scaling up my tire here to match the size of the dummy wheel. Once I'm done, it will look something like this. Now, instead of dragging over three other wheels and rescaling them, I can just hold down Control and click drag to create another copy, which I'll just drag over to the rear wheel dummy. I can do likewise with the other side as well. If I select both of my wheels from this side, I can copy them over to the other side two at a time by doing the same thing. To flip them over, I can just go into the rotate section in the modify panel and get them facing in the right direction. Once I do that, I'll test out my structure. You'll see it will move along without the wheels at first, so what I need to do is attach the wheel meshes to my dummy wheels. To do this, I just need to select my wheel mesh, then go up and select the Pick Parent option in the Modify panel. This will permanently attach your mesh to your dummy. Once you do that, continue on to the other meshes and do the exact same thing. Remember that the four-wheel drive wheels are named according to their position. For example, the BR and BL represent back right and back left, while FL and FR represent front left and front right. Once I've done that, I'll bring over the body of the Jeep here. This is also going to need some resizing as well. Again, you might want to resize the dummy to your mesh instead if there is too much distortion, but I'm not too worried about that here. I'll just go through the same steps as I did with the wheels and get my body mesh centered and resized correctly. I'll position it relatively close to the body dummy of the four-wheel drive and go to pick parent again and pick the body dummy. This will ensure that my body mesh will follow along with my dummy. I can press the action button to test it out, but as you can see my vehicle body looks a little bit high. I can go in there and refine this easily by selecting the body mesh and moving it down. Make sure that you select the mesh in this case and not the dummy, as it will create a completely different result. You can use the advanced options in the physics gear controls to customize how you want your Jeep to drive as well. I can set the max angle for the tire rotation to a smaller number here as well as increasing the unit value. In this case, doing that won't make much of a difference as the max angle is very low. If I take off auto retract, the wheels will not go back once I turn and will remain in that position until they're manually rotated back into place. If you want even better results, use the frame-by-frame -frame playback mode. This will slow things down a little bit, and the physics calculations will be more correct and produce a smoother result. What I have here now is a height map terrain that I've added in. And you can see that when I try to drive the Jeep along the terrain, it doesn't initially work and falls right through it. I can fix this in a single click by making sure my terrain is selected and enabling terrain physics over in the modify panel to the right. You can see now that my vehicle will be able to traverse this new terrain immediately. 
This can only be done with height map terrains, however there is another way to get the same reaction with regular terrain as well. This is another terrain that is included with iClone. However, it is not a height map terrain, in which case my only option is to select the terrain and convert it to a prop. You can do this by simply using the Convert to Prop option in the Modify panel. Once you do this, you will then need to assign physics. Because you don't want your terrain to move, just assign it a static physics state. Also, make sure to choose a self-mesh to give the terrain more detailed physics data. You'll notice now that my Jeep will be able to climb up the terrain just like as if it were any physics prop. This is an extremely useful tool for any scene that uses physics, so keep it in mind.